Bry's Comics. Welcome to Bry's Comics, reporting to you live here from the mothership. I hope to get back to my studio soon and uh, record some new content over there. Uh, but this new collection that just came in, and I thought, man, these are some cool books. I want to just get up a quick video for you guys. Before we hop into it, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like for your chance to win a free slab. And head over to Bry'sComics.com and sign up for the newsletter for your chance to win another free slab each and every month. And it's where you get first access to collections like this one right when they come through. Use code collect. 10 for 10% off. That code is always active. And if you're watching this the day it comes out on Friday, we have a massive whatnot show lined up for you guys today. $1 starts on tons of awesome keys, including Amazing Spider-Man 309.6, signed by Todd McFarlane, and a whole bunch more. Tons of giveaways, and I hope to see you there. With that said, let's hop into this stack of books. Starting it off with a golden age goodie, Jumbo Comics number 123. Does anybody else set their alarm for the middle of the night to wake up at 120? 23 in the morning just so they can go ah it's 123 well if that's you and you're like me then you may need to pick up jumbo comics one two three leave a comment in the chat if you're a uh, weirdo like me all right next up we have captain america number 100 in a 3.5 the first issue uh and the first solo series for captain america in the silver age Next up, we have Hulk number one in a 9.8. This is the Akuna variant cover. The first appearance of the Red Hulk. I believe it's a 1 in 20 incentive. Some more awesome Golden Age goodies here. We got Wings number 77 in an 8.0. 10 center from 1947. Just always awesome to see Golden Age books in good condition. Just like this one, Wings Comics number 80 in an 8.0 balance out those golden age goodies with a little 90s goodness venom lethal protector number one 9.8 first venom in his own title awesome hollow foil red foil cover now this is actually the biggest book out of the collection daredevil number one in a 1.8 off-white pages with the custom label and this is about the best that you could ask for in a low-grade copy of daredevil you've got the complete image there no major chunks missing from the uh, front of course it's a 1.8 i mean there's a lot of defects and stuff going on so here's the graders notes it says uh one piece of tape left center of front cover and that is going to be this guy right here that's the one piece of tape left center of front cover. We've also got piece out right bottom of back cover. That is going to be our piece out. A piece out can be a piece like this. It can be smaller than this. It can be much larger than that. So piece out is a term uh, that encompasses a lot. The next note there is reattached with tape front cover. So something is reattached with tape. It's kind of unclear. It doesn't say cover reattached with tape. It says reattached with tape front cover. So I think they just worded that weird. I think what they mean is that the cover has been reattached with tape. Now the thing of it is um, you can't see any tape besides that piece that was also noted in the notes uh, attaching the cover on there. The tape that's reattaching it must be on the inside and it's just very odd that you know you can't see that so like i said it's uh about the best you can hope for in a low grade copy um of uh daredevil number one because none of these major defects are visible uh from the front cover so this will be a great entry level uh addition to somebody's collection um, happy to have that in the shop. Now we have Spectacular Spider-Man number 90. This is the first black costume in title. So uh, this is a black suit Spidey key that is often, uh, you know, overlooked for black suit Spidey key collectors. Um, so it's nice to have a copy here in a 9.8 white pages. One of my all-time favorite Mike Mayhew covers. We have X-23 number 2. This is the 1 in 25 uh, Vampire Mike Mayhew edition. He did a whole series of these that are absolutely killer. This one's featuring X-23. Doctor Strange number one in a 9.4. The first appearance of the Silver Dagger. Story continued from Marvel premiere number 14. The original art for this sold for 
in the millions of dollars. Leave a note in the comment if you remember how much the original art sold for this, and I'll pin it. Moon Knight number three. This is the Varigi uh, variant cover. A really tough to find and awesome Moon Knight cover. Our Army at War number 157. Uh, just a cool Silver Age book, 7.0 Nazi cover. Uh, cool cover there. Mask number one. This is based on the animated series and toy franchise. Leave a note in the comments if uh, this is a nostalgic book for you. Um, I know a lot of people grew up with this. Spider-Man number 76 from 1997 and 9.8. Uh, I'm not sure why. It's kind of like one of these things is not like the other. I'm not sure exactly how this made it into that collector's collection, but... Cool cover nonetheless. Um, all new Wolverine number two, the first appearance of Gabby, uh, and an awesome cover there. Now this cover was really hard to find comps for. I mean, it's not a super expensive book, but it sure as heck is a uh, cover that you won't soon forget. Del Auto variant cover for Ultimatum number five. I mean, look at that art by Gabriel Del Auto. Um, it's the death of Magneto, Wolverine, Cyclops, and Doctor Doom, um, but it's all about the cover on this one. Children of the Atom, number one. This is the 1 in 100 Jim Lee Hidden Gem variant cover. So a Hidden Gem variant cover is really cool. It's when they used uh, unused art from, you know, previously held in Marvel Archive somewhere um, as a, usually as an incentive cover. Sometimes it'll be an open order cover, but usually it's a incentive cover. You'll see them for Jack Kirby, uh, you know, and more modern artists like Jim Lee. Um, and it's always a treat to see these hidden gems. Masters of the Universe number one, 1986. This was, this book came out four months before I was born. Definitely a, a nostalgia inducing book for me. Silver Surfer Black number one. This is the IG Comic Store edition, the Scott Williams cover. Uh, one of the harder Silver Surfer Black variants to secure. Amazing Spider-Man number 61. This is the first cover appearance of Gwen Stacy and one of the most disappointing first cover appearances that there is because um, it's not a great cover. There she is right there, uh, just tiny. I mean, imagine how big of a book this would be if we had Gwen Stacy full cover just like like we do today with our, our variants, right? But back then, you know, I don't think they were really, you know, focusing on Gwen Stacy. Gwen Stacy wasn't selling comics as much as Spider-Man himself. So um, that's why it makes it even more special when you do get a first cover appearance in the Silver Age with an awesome cover of the character. Unfortunately, we don't really get that for Gwen Stacy. Marvel Legacy number one. This is a, a hefty... Uh, slab. It's a lot more heavy than a uh, standard slab. I think it's just because it's a thicker book. Uh, this is the 1 in 500 Joe Quesada sketch cover, and it's the first appearance of 1 million BC Avengers, the return of Wolverine, and a double gatefold wraparound cover. Look at that beautiful wraparound cover by Joe Quesada. Wolverine number one, the banana cover, the John Tyler Christopher variant, uh, limited to 3,000. Uh, this is the con exclusive. It's manufactured with individual numbering here on the cover, which is really cool. And it says 1936 of 3,000. Um, and the back cover is actually a COA, which is really just an entire back cover here. All right, Web of Spider-Man number one, 9.4 white pages, newsstand edition, first appearance of the Vulturians. Captain Carter number one, the animation uh, retailer incentive variant. Marvel Superhero Secret Wars number three, 9.8 white pages, first appearance of Volcana and the new Titania. And Reptile number one in 9.6, the Sousa variant cover. So there you have it, guys. Just a quick little video showing some awesome new stock that just came through the shop. Thank you, as always, for sticking with me to the end of the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Bryce Comics.